Every second together counts because Michelle knows her time with her daughter may be rapidly running out. Mm, would you like sugar? Sophia has a rare, deadly and incurable disease called Tub 4A leukodystrophy. Now 12, she first presented symptoms nearly a decade ago. If you read the worst case scenarios, the children die within 12 months. And I had no idea how long she was going to live for. You know, the doctors told us there's nothing you can do. And I think it's probably the most devastating <laughs> kind of news that you can, you know, for any parent to hear. I couldn't accept it. That's why I decided to do something about it. At first, that something was to raise money for research. But as Sophia's condition worsened from a healthy toddler to a child unable to walk or talk, Michelle took research into her own hands. A scientist by trade, she set up a company to find a cure. I feel like because we've set up this company, we are finally in the driving seat and finding a treatment for her. Within those timelines, you know, that we believe will be on time for her. The company's based in Oxford and has teamed up with a leading children's hospital in America. Hopeful it will reach clinical trials within the next two years. And one of the most horrible things is that a lot of these children don't actually make it into late teenagers. And hopefully by stopping the progression of this disease, it could offer them um, a, a better quality of life as well as um, an extension to their lives as well. So it's a potential game changer. It is. It is a potential game changer, yes. Part of the reason why there's no cure for this disease yet is because it was actually only identified eight years ago in 2014. And the other reason is because it's incredibly rare. It's thought to only affect between 60 and 90 newborns in Britain each year and just over 1,600 worldwide. For those it does affect, it is a ticking time bomb. But Michelle says Sophia doesn't let it get to her and that they'll never give up hope of finding a cure. Ivor Bennett, Sky News, Oxford.